I hope that you look back on this year with reassurance that God loved you through difficult times, that your love for each other got you through difficult times, that love is a bulwark that can face any storm. And God has brought you this far, and He'll bring you home. Hi everyone. Uh, again, for those of you I haven't met, my name is Tom. I'm Allie's dad, and I just wanted to say a few quick words. Andrew and Allie have been patiently waiting to be able to celebrate with all of you with multiple stops and starts along the way. Right, but I also think this speaks to the resilience of these two. As many of you know, and Andy mentioned today, they endured a long distance relationship while attending different universities, 385 miles and two states apart, with many bus and car rides along Interstate 70 to see each other. But nothing got in their way they couldn't overcome. And it has been a delight to watch them grow up and grow together during their, those years. Again, certainly worth the wait. Andrew and Allie, you have come a long way from sitting next to each other on a plane ride. Who knew that Queens, New York is the most romantic place in all of our high school ministry's journeys? As your youth pastor watching you two board the plane, I was confused, saying, is anyone else seeing this? Had they even talked to each other before this trip? How serendipitous that the random team arrangements and seating charts placed them together. and how you proved your commitment to each other. You did the long distance relationship thing, 385 miles from SLU to Cedarville, 421 all the way to Columbus, thousands of texts, many FaceTimes, and my favorite bit from your website, Allie traveling the world, Andrew living in rural Ohio. <laughs> You've pushed through finding jobs, where to live, places to stay, navigating old relationships, forming new ones, as Proverbs 17 says, a crucible for silver and a furnace for gold, but God tests the heart. And through all these difficulties, you still love each other. Or rather, I should say, because you stuck with each other through adversity, it's so evident that you love each other. Andrew, you may kiss your bride. Woo! <laughs>
And, and now it is with great pleasure to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Andrew and Allie Plunkett. I want to say I love you like anybody else in the world. You're, I cherish your brotherhood, brotherhood and your relationship with me, Allie. Um, you know, I've got to pick a bone with you because you're taking my brother away. Um, but I'm happy that it's you because it's obvious that you guys love each other very much. And you have so much road ahead of you to walk together. I cannot wait for you to see how you guys grow in your marriage and love for one another. To the newlyweds. <laughs> 